calculus. Differentiation using the general rule. Different terms are used in differentiation that have the same meaning. For example, a function can be defined as y or as fx. And the derivative of a function can be written as dy dx or f dash x, where dy dx or f dash x relates to the rate of change of y with respect to x. The general rule of differentiation is that if fx is y is x to the power of n, then the derivative f dash x or dy dx is n times x to the n minus 1. So if it's x to the n, you take down the power n, use it as a multiplier, and reduce the power by 1, n minus 1. If there's a coefficient before the x to the n, then you say fx is y is ax to the n. Well then, in that case, f dash x dy dx, the first derivative, is a times n x to the n minus 1. Again, the n comes down as a multiplier, x times, and then n is reduced by 1. So, we'll now use that rule for some examples. We've written it out here for use where we're dealing with x to the power of n's. So the first example we'll use is x squared. So if y is x squared, then dy dx is, well we take the 2 down, it becomes 2, the x, and 2 minus 1 is 1, and anything to the power of 1 is just itself, so 2x. If y is fx is x cubed, well in this case the dy dx is, we take down the number 3 here as a multiplier, and we reduce 3 by 1 to 2. So it's 3x squared. For other values of n, we use exactly the same approach. So for example, if y was equal to fx was equal to x to the naught point 3, well then the derivative would be, we would take down the naught point 0.3 as a multiplier, x, and naught point 0.3 minus 1 is minus naught point 0.7. And similarly, in the case of y equals x to the minus 17.6, dy dx would be minus 17.6 as a multiplier, x to the minus 18.6, one less than minus 17.6. Examples using ax to the n, where you've got a coefficient, we would work like this. So let's say we've got y is equal to 3x squared. So we've got a coefficient a in front of the x to the power of n. So dy dx is f dash x. The first thing we would do is make the 3 available, because it's going to be 3 times whatever it will be, 3 times the x squared approach. Take down the 2, so it's 3 times 2x. So 3 times 2x is 6x. Similarly, for the example y equals 7.6 pi x to the root 12, all that's happening here is that 7.6 pi is a multiplier of x to the root n. So it's a coefficient and it's going to remain in the derivative. So dy dx or f dash x is 7.6 pi times taking down the root 12 times x root 12 minus 1. And that's the approach where you've got a coefficient or some term multiplier before the x to the n. So now let's take a general polynomial We've got 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 7. We're going to use it and we're going to differentiate it. Formally we could write that as 3x cubed minus 7x squared. And instead of 4x we could say 4x to the 1 and 7, 7x to the naught. So in the first bit we take the derivative would be, for this term we would say 3 times 3x to the 3 minus 1. 3 being the first 3 we move down, then this 3 becomes a multiplier times x to the 3 minus 1. In the case of the minus 7x squared, we get minus 7. The x squared is 2 times x to the 2 minus 1. In the case of the 4x, we get, well, 4, the 1 would come down, 1x to the 1 minus 1. And in case of the 7, or 7x0, we'd say 7 times 0 x to the 0 minus 1. So working that out, we would get 3 times 3x squared minus 7 times 2x to the 1, 
2 minus 1 is 1. In the case of 1 minus 1, we get 0. And in the case of 0 times anything, we just get 0. So f dash x is 3 times 3, or 9x squared. 7 by 2 is 14. The x to the 1 plus 4 times 4 times 1 is 4, x to the 0. But we can also simplify these. x to the 1 is just x, and x to the 0 is 1. So we get f dash x, or the derivative of x, is 9x squared minus 14x plus 4. And this is the formal approach if we were to use all the numbers. But really the way we would normally do it is we would say if fx is 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 7, we would just work the derivative like this. We would take the 3 down first because it's 3 times. Then it's 3x squared if we take the derivative of x cubed. For the minus 7 we write it and then in x squared we get 2x. The differentiation of 4x is just 4 and the differentiation of 7 is a constant, so that's 0. This would be 3 by 3 is 9x squared, the 7 by 2 giving us the 14x plus 4. So we would use it very quickly without bothering the, about the x to the 1 and the x to the naughts. That's how we would get the derivative of 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 7. So here's another example now. x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x to the minus 2. So we write the expression out again and ready to start. We would say f dash x is, well in the case of x cubed, it becomes 3x to the 3 minus 1, or 3x squared. In the case of the 2, well it's 2 times the differentiation of x squared, that's 2x to the 2 minus 1. And then 3 times minus 2, x to the minus 2 minus 1. So tidying it up we get Instead of 3 minus 1, we get 2, so that's 3x squared. 2 minus 1 is just 1, and x to the 1 is just x, so it's 2 times 2x. And this is 3 times minus 2. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So we get 3x squared, 2 by 2 is 4x, 3 by minus 2 is minus 6, x to the minus 3. And that's how we would differentiate that expression there. Now here's one with x to the halves. Differentiate 4x to the half plus 2x to the 3 over 2 with respect to x. So again we write the term out and we do it piece by piece. Taking the derivative we get 4 because that's the coefficient first. Then we take down the half, half x to the half minus 1. 2 is the multiplier, we leave it there. And then taking down the 3 over 2, x to the 3 over 2 minus 1. So we now multiply in with arithmetic. 4 times a half, a half minus 1 is minus a half, 3 over 2 minus 1 is a half. So now we can simplify the expressions. 4 by a half is 2, 2 by 3 thirds is 3, so f dash x is 2x to the minus a half plus 3x to the half. Or if we wanted to express that in more decimal presentation, we could say f dash x is 2x to the minus 0.5 plus 3x to the 0.5.